So theorem 12 then, the second of the three theorems that we'll look at. So, well, let's read it first. Let ABC be a triangle. If the line XY is parallel to BC and cuts AB in a ratio of S is to T, then it cuts AC also in the same ratio. So basically saying whatever this line gets cut in the ratio of, this line will also get cut in the ratio, the same ratio, as long as this line here is parallel to this line here. So what are we given? We're given a triangle ABC with XY being parallel to BC. So it's stated as fact that this line is parallel to this line. What do I want to prove? I want to prove that the ratio of AX over XB is the same as AY over YC. So the construction then, we divide the line AX into S equal parts. Now, S is a generic term. It could be any ratio, or it could be any number we want, but we choose the general number S and the section XB into T equal parts. Draw a line parallel to BC through each of the points. So here, yes, I understand that I've uh, placed five extra lines in, so there are six segments, but I call it S. Here, I've divided it into four segments, but I call it T segments. And I draw these lines so that they are parallel to both XY and uh, BC. We can see that this is S segments over here and T segments down here. So that is the construction that you do. Now we talk about the actual proof. The proof. The parallel lines cut equal intercepts along AC. We can see that this segment here, oh, along AC, excuse me, we can see that it cuts equal segments along the line here, one, two, three, four, five, and six. They are equal segments. The parallel lines could equal intercepts along AC. That is, AY is cut into S equal parts. Yes, I acknowledge the fact it's 6 here, but in general, it could be any number S. And that YC is cut into T equal parts. And again, it was 4 here. That means, then, that the ratio of AY is the YC. So this section over this section is split in S is to T. So AY over YC is S is to T. But similarly, we acknowledge the fact that in the construction, I split this into S equal segments and this into T equal segments. So the line AB is split such that AX over XB is also S over T. So AX over XB is also split S over T. Compare like with like, AY over YC is equal to AX over XB. And that's it, QED done. So I'd really highly recommend going back and watching the video again, taking it down step by step and focusing on the key points of it. It's not a very difficult one, but it does get overlooked an awful lot by students and I'd hate for you to miss out on it.